Marcus, when you taking a one grown man and pushing him into another grown man for a sack, mm -hmm. what's the process? How how do you set him up to get him in that position? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's that's kind of a hard one because. I don't really feel like I, I set him up. I just felt like, you know, it was about that time where I actually had to commit to my power. And from there, you know, just, I was a play. How many different rushes do you have? You know, you say, I commit to my power with, you know, how many different rush strategies do you use in the course of the game? Mm, we say different rush strategies. You know, it's a lot of just working to win. You know, um, you try to find what works against him, what works against with the uh, you know quarterback, depending on how he moves, and you know every rep, every play is kind of different. So it's kind of going out there and just having something in mind and being able to work off of that. Is that the ultimate adrenaline rush to basically run through a guy? Nah, 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 uh, -uh. <laughs> nah. I think uh, ultimate. Is it the win? Yeah, winning. Yeah, that's the ultimate about hurdling a guy, where, where does that one, uh, you don't remember that? Two uh, years ago, it was like a, like a field goal or a, a Oh, you talking about jumping over him. <laughs> nah, see, I, I missed those. Yeah, like that was, that was even more like a letdown. It's like I did this and then didn't get it. You know, try to let that one go. Sorry for bringing it up. Marcus, how disciplined do you guys have to be on the defensive line against a running quarterback like this? I mean, he, he seems a little bit different than a scrambling quarterback more so. Um, yeah, you know, he's a great athlete. He's fast and he can move out the pocket. You know, he makes quick decisions and he's one of those guys that can beat you just with his feet. So um, it's going to be a real discipline game, especially for us, for the ends and uh, the interior. Is that one of those where you just have to kind of bide your time and, you know, sometimes you just basically play and contain him and, you know, yeah, you might be rushing, but you don't want to overcommit because you just, you know, you don't want to give him too much. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, I think. That's one way to put it. You said bide your time. You know, there's other ways, like um, put them in a trap. You know, uh, some people say set the pillars, but you know, it's, it's going to be one of those games where we, you know, we have to play smart. Can't, uh, you know, just unleash as much as we want to. Um, how do you feel about the roughing the passer penalty? Like, as a defender, how tough is it to not come in too high? not come in too low, but still go full speed and not try to overthink things? Well, you know, kind of like you said, um, just try not to overthink the things. Um, you know, for the most part, letting your technique and letting the refs, you know, make the right calls. You know, um, for a lot of those calls, you know, I try not to even think about it because we can't change it. You know, all we can do now is just go forward and, you know, hope that, you know, refs make better calls. Simple. Get it.